We are back with some more classic chemistry demos today. And before we jump into the action, let's talk about the three elements that we're going to see in the first video today. In this video, we're going to be investigating lithium, sodium, and potassium. These three elements belong to group one on the periodic table, which are called the alkali metals. Recall the elements in the same group share similar chemical properties, and the properties of the alkali metals that we'll see in today's demos are that they have a very low density and they tend to readily react with water. The setup for each of our demos today will be the same. We'll take a small piece of the sample of metal and we'll add that to a beaker of distilled water. And that beaker of distilled water will also contain a few drops of pH indicator called phenol phthalene. Phenol phthalene is clear in a neutral or acidic solution and turns a prominent bright pink color when in basic solution. We will start with lithium today. I'm going to take a beaker full of distilled water and to that I'm going to add a few drops of the pH indicator phenol phthalene. Notice that the phenol phthalene is initially clear because we assume the pH of this water is approximately neutral. Here is our sample of lithium. The alkali metals, again, are low density metals. Um, they tend to be very soft. They're very easy to cut with the scupula or the forceps. Let's drop our lithium into the beaker and see what happens. Before you move on to the next demo, pause the video and record your observations. Our second demo will be sodium. And the setup for this demo is the same. I have a beaker full of distilled water, and to that I will add a few drops of phenol phthalene. Not only is the sodium demo really cool, I also think that sodium metal kind of looks like a cube of tofu. That cube of sodium is too big for our demo today, so we're going to use a smaller piece. Again, low density metal, very soft. Let's add the sodium to the water and see what happens. Before you move on to the next demo, pause the video and record your observations. The last demo in our first investigation today is potassium. The setup for this demo is the same as the others. I have a beaker of distilled water, and to that I'm going to add a few drops of phenol phthalene. 
Potassium metal has similar properties to lithium and sodium. And note that I'm trying to use the same size sample for all three of those demos today. Let's add the potassium to the water and see what happens. Now let's see it again in slow motion. Record your observations for this demo, and when you're done, leave your breakout room and return to the main meeting.